Space is huge, right? People have been staring at the stars forever, trying to figure out just how big everything is. We started with simple telescopes, then got awesome ones like Hubble, pushing our understanding further each time. Now we have the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and it's like the curtains have been pulled back, showing us a cosmos bigger than we ever thought possible. Think of JWST as Hubble's cooler, more advanced sibling. It launched in late 2021, and it's a real piece of engineering wizardry. Its mirror is massive, over 6.5 meters wide, and it hangs out about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. That spot lets it see way deeper into space. What makes it special? It sees infrared light, which lets it see through cosmic dust clouds. Hubble could not do that very well. This means we can see things we've never seen. It is going to teach us a lot about universe's start and will give us a clearer the scale of things. Since it got up there, JWST has sent back some bonkers pictures. They are not just pretty, these photos are packed with data. They help us understand how huge space. What JWST has shown us so far is mind-blowing and shows that seeing an infrared changes everything. Infrared light is special, it can travel past dust clouds in space. Star-forming areas are often hidden by gas and dust, blocking regular telescopes, but JWST can see right through this. When it does, it catches stars in the process of being born, along with forming planetary systems. This is great information for learning about those things. One of the early snaps showed the Pillars of Creation, which is a star factory in the Eagle Nebula. It was so detailed. You could see all sorts of gas and dust creating new stars. JWST is also helping us with the expansion of the universe. We've known the universe is getting bigger, but JWST is getting measurements which are more on point. These measurements could change how we think about dark energy, the thing that seems pushing everything apart. We need to know more about dark energy since it's most of the stuff in the universe. JWST spots supernovas, exploding stars, way out there and uses the light to measure how fast the universe is expanding, helping refine how we look at dark energy. JWST can even peek into the early universe, Cosmic Dawn, about 200 million years after the Big Bang. This helps researchers understand how everything went from hot and crazy to what we observe currently. The ancient galaxies that JWST spots show up as weak, red-shifted spots due to billions of years of space growing. By analyzing these, scientists learn more about that early stage universe and what its structures were like. One shock? JWST spotted surprisingly big galaxies back then, which might cause experts to rewrite existing theories on galaxy creation. Besides figuring out the size of things, JWST is looking for life. How? It can analyze the air around planets orbiting other stars, exoplanets. By watching light pass through it when the planet moves around its star, JWST figures out what it's made of. If it spots things like water, carbon dioxide, or even oxygen, that could mean life. One highlight is JWST spotting water in the air of a far-off exoplanet that could have liquid water. If we find is that we aren't alone? Black holes are also of interest. JWST has its sights on these mysterious things and is capturing views of how matter acts when caught up by the black hole. Plus, JWST sees jets of stuff shooting from these black holes. This helps us understand their impact on the cosmos. As we keep exploring, it is also revealing the large-scale form of everything. Space is arranged. Galaxies connect via dark matter. JWST maps all this, giving clues on the history and structure of the universe. It caught huge clusters of galaxies, letting scientists examine their formation and the influence they exert on the space around them. These are just the initial findings. As JWST rolls on and does its thing, expect more discoveries. 
It will look into the air on other planets, make maps of dark matter, and work alongside other telescopes like the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. Finally, the James Webb Space Telescope is changing stuff. It's a symbol of us wanting to exploring. It will teach us a crazy amount but is more than something we can just measure. Keep watching as the James Webb Space Telescope continues exposing our universe and showing the real scale of the universe. Okay, so space is huge, right? People have been staring up at the night sky forever, wondering just how big everything really is. We started with simple telescopes, then got the Hubble, pushing what we knew further and further. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope is here, and it's like the curtains being pulled back on stuff we couldn't even dream of. The James Webb Space Telescope, often called Hubble's replacement, is a big deal for space study. It went up on December 25th, 2021, and it's a seriously impressive piece of tech. Its mirror is over 6.5 meters across, and it hangs out 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. It's made to see deeper into everything than anything before. Unlike Hubble, which mostly looks at visible and UV light, Webb is all about infrared. That means it can see through dust and gas clouds, showing us things we've never seen. With this trick, Webb is getting us closer to the secrets from the start of the universe, also giving us a clearer idea of how big it all is. Since it got going, the James Webb Telescope has sent back some mind-blowing pictures. From galaxies super far away to spots where stars are being born, each photo isn't just pretty. They're full of data which can help us figure out how immense space actually is. What Webb has shown so far is pretty unreal. Focusing on infrared light is more than just a technical thing. It's changing how we see everything. Infrared light has longer waves than normal light, so Webb can look through space dust and show us areas that were hidden. Like, you know those spots where stars are born, all covered in gas and dust? You can barely see them with normal light. But infrared? Webb sees right through that showing us stars being born and new planetary systems popping up. This all gives people important info on how stars are made and eventually how new solar systems happen. One of its early views was of the Pillars of Creation, a star-making spot in the Eagle Nebula. Infrared images showed unreal detail, all the tiny bits of gas and dust that make new stars. One of the coolest things the James Webb Telescope has done is helping us with the universe's growth. Folks have known for a while that the universe is getting bigger. Webb's views are giving us a better look. By watching galaxies way far off, it's helping calculate how fast things are growing, way more precisely than before. That changes what we know about dark energy, that mysterious power that's speeding up cosmic growth. Dark energy is a big puzzle. We only know a little bit about that. Webb's info is important for people when they are trying to figure out what dark energy is and how it messes with the universe. Webb looks at distant supernovas too, stars that blow up and act like markers. Looking at the light from those, they can tell how fast the universe is growing and get a better idea of what dark energy is doing. The James Webb Telescope is also shining a light on the early universe during cosmic dawn. At this time of this place there were stars and galaxies were born. People can study about the this time from the beginning which is important to understanding how the universe went from a hot, dense place to what we know today. Webb's infrared can grab light from some of the first galaxies ever. These old galaxies look dim but it's redshifted. Researchers can learn what the early universe was like and how everything began by researching these galaxies. One of Webb's cooler finds is big, old galaxies in the early universe. These galaxies happen just a bit after the Big Bang, and it makes folks wonder if maybe how fast galaxies can happen. While the James Webb Telescope is revealing the size of the universe, it's also helping with the search for life far away. Webb can look at the air around exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars. That means it can see if any elements are inside. By looking at light, People can see if there's water, carbon, or other stuff, which all hint at life. One of the cool part is that Webb has discovered water vapor in the air of an exoplanet in the habitable zone. 
The habitable zone is the area around a star where water exists. So, we haven't proven there's life out there yet, but Webb is getting us closer. By studying exoplanets and seeing which ones might have life, we're taking the first steps to answer the question, are we alone? Black holes are another big topic. These spots have so much gravity, not even light can get away. The James Webb Telescope is giving us new views of black holes. The telescope helped capture the accretion disk. By researching this information, scientists can learn how black holes grow. As we keep checking out the cosmos with the James Webb Telescope, we're also getting new ideas about how it's set up. The universe isn't just a random group of galaxies and stars. Actually, the structure of space has galaxies are all together. Webb's views are helping make this even cleaner. The James Webb Telescope's findings are just the beginning. As it keeps going, it'll keep revealing more mysteries. Webb will also team up with other telescopes to see a full drawing of the universe. It's clear that the James Webb Telescope will be important in designing our view that we have of everything. As we look to the future, it's obvious that the James Webb Telescope will be very important to our knowledge of the cosmos. The James Webb Telescope is also researching exoplanet to check for life on other planets. The composition of these worlds is crucial in the search. In summary, the telescope is ready to change our understanding of space.